This was my cult, the House of Yahweh, located in Abilene, Texas. This was my cult leader, Yisrael Hawkins. When I first arrived in 1989 with my family, we were love bomb and fell under the spell of the cult. I believed so fervently that I got baptized at my first feast. I started dating the leader's son in 1990. We were going through the motions of being good cult members. We were in a long-distance relationship. He lived in Texas and I in Michigan, finishing my education. The brainwashing and manipulation continued, and I was engaged by the age of 16. We waited for two years for me to graduate high school at my father's insistence. We continued to be obedient, including abstaining from smacks before marriage. We were happily optimistic and had the support of our families and the cult community. We stood in front of the congregation thinking it would last forever, not knowing that we would be divorced in only four short years. Unbeknownst to us, my father-in-law, the leader, was already cheating on his wife at this time. Young and naive, we smiled and played the roles of good cult members. We celebrated our potentially happy future together. This is where we would live for the next two years. It wasn't much, but honestly, it was more than most had. We slept on the floor for months until another cult member graciously gave us a bed. No surprise, I was pregnant within six months. I never saw a doctor or received any outside health care during my pregnancy. Only cult appointed midwives following the leader's directive. After a dangerous home birth with over 48 hours of labor, I gave birth to my son. He was 9 pounds 4 ounces. If I had been seeing a doctor, there's no way they would have let me go 16 days overdue and he most likely would have been taken C-section. Luckily, we both survived. The leader's indiscretions with his secretary were coming to light at this time. He said, I would never sin. She is merely another wife. And my mother-in-law wasn't having any of it and filed for divorce. Some of us in the immediate family supported her and began questioning this new teaching. It wasn't long before we were officially excommunicated for refusing to fall in line with this new polygamy teaching. Fourteen years later, the leader would be arrested and charged with bigamy and child labor violations. The bigamy charges were ultimately dismissed, and he would only pay $2,000 in fines and serve 15 months probation for the child labor violations. I've since remarried an amazing and supportive man. We've been married for over 27 years now. I am living my best life, including co-hosting the Cultimatum podcast with Anonymous Andrew. I'm an advocate for fellow survivors who find themselves in similar situations, helping to provide a platform for them to share their own stories and experiences. We are dedicated to bringing change and awareness about cults and human trafficking. If you or someone you know is trapped in a situation that seems wrong or even dangerous, know that there is hope and there are resources and people there to support you on your journey to freedom and healing. As always, stay safe, stay informed, and remember, you are not alone.